Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Um, so, yeah, I just woke up to this, uh, you know, news right here that there was an uh, explosion in downtown Nashville, uh, Tennessee. It says, large ex large. Uh, intentional explosion damages downtown Nashville's uh, buildings. Um, so I'm going to play this clip right here, man. And, you know, we, we're going to see through the spirit, uh, you know, who who they, um, you know, try to pin pin this uh, this um, uh, terror attack on. Cause that's basically what they're calling it because it's, uh, quote, unquote, intentional. They're, they're uh, deeming this as a uh, an attack, you know, a terror attack. So I'm going to play this clip here and, you know, we'll uh, examine, you know, what's going on. Good evening and Merry Christmas to you. I'm Ray Cordebask. And I'm Lourdes Duarte. Micah is off tonight. We begin with breaking news. Take a look. And those are the pictures we've been following all day. Smoke and fire billowing in downtown Nashville after an explosion that police are calling intentional. Flights were grounded. Thousands lost cell service today. Now the FBI is asking for the public's help in this. That's right. That explosion left three people injured, but it could have been so much worse if not for the quick action of some police officers. And WGN's Jenna Barnes has been covering the investigation all day long. What is the latest, Jenna? Well, the part of downtown Nashville impacted by this explosion is now under curfew until Sunday and the community has already raised $300,000 for a reward for anyone with information that leads to the bomber. A church's surveillance camera captured the moment the bomb blast lit up downtown Nashville Christmas morning. Damaging more than 40 buildings, causing at least one to collapse. This morning's attack on our community was intended to create chaos and fear in this season of peace and hope. Police say their investigation began around 5.30 in the morning when officers responded to reports of gunfire as people who live downtown hid in their homes. We were petrified. We were sitting in our apartment with the door barricaded, with the lights out, not talking because we were scared to make noise. During that shots fired investigation. They heard an RV giving out a message, uh, basically saying that it was going to detonate within a certain time frame. At that point, Nashville's police chief says the six officers near this RV didn't know when or if it would explode, but they started knocking on doors, evacuating people anyway. These officers didn't care about themselves. They didn't think about that. They cared about the citizens of Nashville. Directed people away from danger to save lives even at the time that their own lives would have been in peril. They are heroes. About an hour after the officers first got to the scene, the bomb went off. <laughs> Commands all units, commands all units are confirmed with PD. This is an explosive device. Three people were injured, and the police chief says possible human remains were found in the vicinity of the explosion. The RV was parked near an AT&T building, and that blast impacted cell service, 911 systems, and even communications at Nashville's airport, which halted flights. The spirit of our city cannot be broken. But we're not going to rest until those responsible for this outrageous and cowardly attack are brought to justice. Part of the police work underway right now is trying to figure out a motive and why the bomber chose Christmas Day. Nashville's police chief says the city had not received any threats leading up to the blast. Jenna, so many questions left to answer in this. Thank you for the update. All right. I'm so there you go, man. So like the guy just said, so many questions left to answer. And the um, FBI is trying to figure out why the bomber, whoever the bomber is, chose um, Christmas as the day to do so. You know, so like I said, we're going to see, you know, through the spirit, all right, uh, what the Lord, uh, uh, you know, has happened because everything is under the control and uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But we know that this devil, all right, the adversary, does things just like how he did this, you know, uh, the, the whole thing that happened last year, all right? And they said that uh, that happened in Jersey City. They said it was uh, so-called BHI who did that. And now they're trying to figure out who did this. So um, 
we're going to see, you know, <laughs> how this devil tries to uh, spin this this terror attack, man. But we know that, as it says right here, Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse um, 3, it says, But I fear Salakia. Not that's not what I wanted. Second Corinthians 2. Second Corinthians uh, 2, verse 11, it says, Least Satan should get, should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right? So we can't let, you know, this this devil, uh, his through his media and through his uh, crafty, you know, uh, uh, ways, okay, his his, uh, his his wiles, all right, his uh, trickery, we're not going to let his, just because we see this happen and then they might come out and say, oh, well, we found a manifesto of X, Y, and Z or, you know, this person who had affiliations to this, this and that. You know, don't don't allow. We're not going to allow this devil to get an advantage of us because we know that he ultimately is going to try to demonize this truth, man. You know, now it could come out where they say that this person had you know affiliations with you know uh, 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 you know uh, Al Qaeda, okay? But understanding that we know ultimately that this that this word, as Yahweh Shai said, that this word. Um, we were going to be uh, 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 get that we were going to be hated by all men for his namesake. Let's uh, pull that out. And a way, in a way that uh, this this devil is, is going to try to get us hated by all men is by him doing things like this to make it seem like we are, you know, some terroristic group, all right, some extremist, all right, uh, uh, some some evil or violent uh, group, you know. So this is a this is a ploy that that these devils use, you know they they could try to try to instill fear of of the the gospel, all right, fear of the Israelites in the world, so that when this so that the world backs up or the world uh, supports, you know, the government when they come down with that raft upon you know uh, uh, this uh, this truth, all right, just like how they did during the time of uh, ancient Rome. All right, Nero, the emperor during that time, there was a fire that broke out in Rome, and Nero blamed who? The Christians. And that's why there was a great persecution of the Christians, which were Israelites that followed the Messiah, you know, during that time, man. In Rome, there was a great persecution. They were killing men, women, and children during that time. All right. And and the government, the Roman government had a support of the people because the government uh, pinned that uh, explosion or that fire on Christians, all right, the so-called Christians, a.k.a. the Israelites. So this is Mark chapter 13, verse, um, actually, start at uh, verse uh, 10. It says, and the, and the gospel must first be published among all nations, and this gospel has been published among all nations. It says, but when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do ye premeditate. But who, well, whatsoever shall be given, uh, given you in that hour, that speak ye. For it is not ye that speaketh, but the Holy Spirit. You know, so we're not, you know, premeditating. You know, we're not uh, sitting here thinking about, you know, our defense. Okay, because we know, talking about the, the true believers and the true disciples, all right, the true, you know, uh, uh, teachers, of we know that we are not uh, a violent, okay, uh, uh, group. All right, we know that we do not take matters into our own hands, but we wait upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to first rise up to the prey, as it is written in the book of Zechariah, uh, Zephaniah three and eight. All right, we're waiting on our our Redeemer Yahweh Shai to deliver us from the hand of our enemies. However, this devil is because he's carnal. All right, and because he knows ultimately that our power comes from from the from uh, the divine, from the spirit. That he has to now take try to take matters into his own hands and come with that carnal and come with that wrath. But in order to first do so, he has to um, present us as being a threat. Okay, and that's where the demonization comes through. Come, that's why the demonization of being an Israelite and being in this truth is constantly happening. You know, it's seeming like more and more. Now, like I said before, I'm not saying this ultimately, you know, this uh, situation um, 
is in fact something that they're going to try to pin on us. But what I'm saying is be aware and be uh, um, don't don't marvel if they do that, because that is um, a part of the of, of this movie, man. All right. Them, they, these devils demonizing this truth and we're going to read it. It says, verse 12, for uh, now the brother shall shall betray the brother to death and the father to son and the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Verse 13, and ye shall be hated of all men for my namesake, but he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay. So we're going to be hated for, for the name of Yahweh Shai, man, for this gospel. All right. And how, once again, how, why are we going to be hated through the demonization that this devil puts upon this truth, man, this gospel, but that is a part of the plan. And we know that we got to endure that we got to endure the persecution. We got to endure the affliction. We got to endure the hate. All right. And some of us are going to have to endure until death, man. We're going to have to endure being put to death. Okay. Second, uh, revelation chapter two. Revelation chapter two, verse um, ten, it says, "Fear none of those none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, all right, the deceiver Esau, shall cast some of you into prison, that ye might be, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful until death, and I will give thee a crown of life." All right, so the Yahweh Shai is telling the the his uh, sheep, or he's telling his uh, joint heirs, okay. The ones who have hazarded their lives, that what we have to even hate our lives into the death, that we got to be faithful of, of of this truth of Him in Him in Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai even up until death, for 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 at that moment if we are put to death, understanding that we are receiving a crown of life, everlasting life, man, an incorruptible crown. All right, so you know I'll end it there, okay? But you know, just wanted to you know give this a uh, quick news update. Understanding the, you know, hey, and even on the flip side, I'll say this: and the fact that the Lord had this happen on so-called Christmas Day, and it, and, and that goes to show you how that the Lord is bringing the complete mirth and and, and safety, and you know the uh, the uh, the uh, calm, because you know you, the the when you on Christmas Day, so-called Christmas Day, these heathens, these people in this world, and even our people that celebrate it, that are in that heathenistic mindset, they're seeing. That day as a day of joy, as a day of, you know, uh, uh, you know, happiness. But the Lord had this happen, you know, <laughs> downtown Nashville, where that whole area, okay, is, they didn't have that mindset at that moment. They were in, fr they were in uh, fear. Okay, yeah, certain people, when you read it, when we read an article, I read an article also, um, people were uh, uh, panicking. You know, people, they, they left their homes at 4.30 in the morning and went to uh, um, a local, I think it was called Nissan Stadium, you know. And they and they had it and they had to go there and took and for uh, they went there to uh, for shelter. So you know the Lord is just showing you that hey that, that this that, that that this world is uh, quickly being upheaved, man. All right, the ways of this world is quickly being uh, destroyed because as it is written, this whole world lieth in wickedness. All right, so you know, I, like I said, I ended there. You know, we'll watch to see what comes of this. You know, just uh, stay watching, you know, stay prayed up and understanding that the days of persecution, the days of trouble are at hand. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said that he would deliver us from the same. Okay, so, you know, with that, with, uh, with that, call praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukha Kodash. Till next time, Shalom.